corded tools. All cords are too long. Doesn't make sense why some companies give you a four foot cord and others like Makita will give you ten foot cord. These two grinders. It's the only way to tell them apart. The Makita cord's two feet longer. But it's pointless, especially on a tool like an angle grinder, to have a cord over six inches long. In fact, this cord that I've shortened on this DeWalt drill is still too long. I should have the plug right at the end of the string relief. The mistake I made on this tool is that I cut the cord and added the plug. This is more bulky and not as streamlined as a factory plug. This cord may have been damaged. I did this a long time ago. I can't remember exactly why I shortened it. So I'm going to shorten these two grinders cords. As I go to change tools, of course, do this at your own risk. But I'd rather pay for an extension cord rather than a longer cord on a tool. A lot of tools will be harder to put back together than they came apart. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. We'll be back after these brief messages from no one. A little bit of tappy tap tap and just fell off. Just really stuck in this groove here. Almost every cord of tool I use gets plugged into an extension cord. Which leads me to another point I forgot about. You're not left with this mess. Even a factory end on an extension cord. You're not left with that clump sitting on the floor. It's sitting right here. Because it's bent, I thought it was a special spade connector. But it's just a regular spade connector. The red variety. So we continue. With the cord shortening. This may take a while, but the time you can save not screwing around with previously shown stuff. Could be well worth it. And these some little tiny pieces you want to watch out for. Don't do what I do and work over a bucket of scrap metal. I'm going to figure out how long I want this end. Got to leave enough for the wire to go through the tool. Call that good. I'm one who likes to twist my stranded wire before crimping. Some do, some don't. Don't really understand the theory behind don't, but hey, if it works, it works. Of 
course it's backwards. That time it's unright. The insulation on the butt splice actually fits very snugly. That's that. Look at that nice short cord. So now, you switch in front of your drill, which is plugged in. Cord's right there. No bending over on the floor. Plug your grinder in. That's how I like my cords. I said this one's a bit too long. You'll also only have one cord to wrap up when you're done. The extension cord. Still, I don't know how often I freaking step on the connection at work. Put me down on the floor a couple times. Probably would have been some good video. So the way I'm stripping this wire is I'm just grazing the outside. Because once you do that, you can just bend it a couple times. Maybe a twist. And it pops right off. Sometimes you see this really flexible wire. All it does is want to stretch. That's when you want these wire strippers. This would be about 14 gauge wire. If you get the right size gauge, you shouldn't need to twist it. So when you twist it, you can cut strands of wire off. Another advantage to a shorter cord, you can't cut the cord with the tool. You'd cut the extension cord. So that's slow you down long enough to change extension cords. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.